You know what, David? The rain may be coming down, but this is still the Monaco Grand Prix. It's still the harbour. We've had some fun here over the years, haven't we? If you think of every cliche of how to open a show, we've ticked them yes. all. We've done helicopters, we've done fast cars, we've done champagne at the Hotel mm. de Paris. We've stood very close to each other in a lift. Why do we have to stand so close? But I think this year, we don't really need anything special to open this show. I think the racing can talk for itself, don't you reckon? Uh, unquestionably. Five races, five different winners, and looking like we could have a sixth winner. That's never been done before in the history of Formula One. Lewis Hamilton, he's not won a race this year. Remarkably, when you consider his form, he's been on great form. What about Mark Webb? Yeah, he knows how to win around the streets of Monaco, and he's got a point to prove. Mm. He hasn't won a Grand Prix this year. Also, let's not forget, the most experienced and winning driver of the current group that are out there, Michael Schumacher, is this the weekend where he rediscovers his form. Yeah, I personally think you look at Kimi Raikkonen. I think Kimi's come back and he's done in a couple of races what Michael's not done in years. For those who are new to Formula One, they probably haven't heard of Roman Grosjean, Kimi's teammate, and I think he's more likely to be the guy that could win this race. I think we could have a French winner at the Monaco Grand Prix. This is it. The greatest ever start to a Formula One season, you could argue. Six different winners in six races. Do you know what? We really don't need any gimmicks to get us going this year. Oh, hold on. Hey, guys. Are we doing this opening feature or not? So sorry, Eddie. We, uh, we had a change of plan, mate. Then you get the email. Good 